Today I'm gonna to walk you through my process in designing social media promos. So stick around. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Today I'm going to walk you through my process and how I design social media promos from beginning to end and give you some tips to help you improve your social media promos. I'm going to be using Adobe Spark to do this. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. To get started, I want to kind of get us on the same page here. I wanted to share with you this promo here that I created. I'm actually going to be doing a live streaming soon. But what I want to kind of focus on is how to how I set up the picture. And if you notice, I'm pointing in this direction. And this is where the content that I'm going to be kind of posting or the information I should say, as well as adding my logo. So all the pertinent information though is over here on the right hand side where I am pointing to and kind of that's what I want to talk about in creating your promos and the intentionality, be intentional in how you design your promo. So all I want to do is kind of back up a bit here and start kind of a new project. And here's what I'll do. Let's click on the home button and let's get started here. Let's hit the plus sign and we'll do a custom size graphic. Now this all depends on what format your photo is that you took in. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a social post and I'm going to go ahead and let's say start with an Instagram post here. That's 1080 by 1080, which I can go ahead and change later on. And what I want to do before I actually jump in and start creating is actually talk about the tips when you're taking your photo. So what I want to do is kind of share a couple of shots or actually several shots that I took and really talk about the intentionality of your photo. So here are a series of photos that I took and let me zoom in on these here. So these are ones that I just took here in the studio, set up my camera and just did a timer and set myself up with a little monitor and just have a plain background. As you can see, I've kind of got this blue light in the back. Now, if you don't have any lights, a white background works, a dark background, but it, if you can add lighting, it makes a big difference. And of course you want your face to be well lit. But these are kind of ones that I'll use for promos on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, or, or anywhere. And what I'll do is I'll set myself up on a, a day and just go through a series of shots and just take several. And I kind of do this every month or every other month. And so here I've got some where I'm kind of pointing because these are ones that I'll use to kind of um, create some encouraging type of posts, you know, kind of pointing to you, kind of like, hey, you got this. I've got some here kind of like, hey, give me some fist bump something that I know I'll end up using at some point. And then here are some other ones that I take. And if you notice, I'm kind of pointing down and I kind of purposely do that because I will add information down there kind of in my belly area. And it doesn't matter that this is right here, these kind of uh, the ground and this is my light stand right there. That's okay. Cause we can kind of zoom that out. And here's another one I took in kind of a landscape format. So one tip, if you take anything from here, as far as setting up your photos, you want to take landscape and portrait of the same pose if you can. Now I took one here, it's pretty similar pointing down and then this one's a little wider cause I was able to get my arms out like that. And then I've got something like this right here where I'm pointing up, I kind of just knelt down and I'll put some information above me if you kind of see this space up here. So I purposely took the picture this way cause I know I'll use it at some point. And then here I have myself pointing from, uh, let's see, looking at the screen here, uh, right to left. But when I was facing the camera, I was kind of pointing to my right. And then I have a similar one here, which I used in that YouTube promo where I'm pointing from right to left as if I'm facing the camera or uh, left to right on the screen here. So you kind of get the idea of the photos and kind of how to set those up intentionally kind of have that white space. So you notice here, we got that white space and let me go back through. I've got some white space here and then I go here. I've got that white space above and then below got that white space and, and basically white space just means empty space. That's just kind of a graphic design term that's been used for many years. You can call it empty space, white space. Sometimes it's black space, depending on the, if it's a black background, just the point is you've got some empty space. And here again, I'm pointing kind of again to my belly area. Now I'm using Lightroom here. This is what I use to edit my photos. I take photos, on my camera as well as on my phone and I drop them into Lightroom and do all my editing there. If you're interested in 
me doing a couple of videos on how to use Lightroom, let me know in the comments below. All right, so now I'm back to my image here and kind of walk you through the design process of what I do using Adobe Spark here. The first thing is to bring one of those images here. So we'll go to photos and upload photo. I've already got the images on my desktop here. So let's go ahead and find those. Let's go ahead and choose icon so we can kind of see them. Let's go ahead and do this one right here with my arms pointing down. The image is loaded now. And what I usually do is click on this button right here, which says add to background, which will increase the size of the image and kind of fit it to the background. And I can go ahead and drop other stuff on top on different layers. Now, again, this is 1080 by 1080, but I'm going to show you how you can easily change that. So let's go ahead and maybe zoom in a bit here. So here's the zoom button, which you could also type in here. Let's say I go 50 zoom in. So just to kind of show you what you can do. So we got zooming in here because I want to have a little bit more space down there again towards my belly. And remember the photo that had the stuff on the ground? Well, we can't see it now because we're zoomed in. I'm actually bring that down a little bit here. So I want to point down here in this area, maybe move up a bit. Now, one of the things about using Adobe Spark, if you have the premium version, you can add your own logo. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Add my logo, got several ones. Let's go ahead and use my main one. And whenever you're creating content you wanna share on social media, I highly recommend branding it. Not so much for copyright purposes, but really so that people can get to know your brand. So let's go ahead and minimize that just a little bit, put that in the corner. As far as where to place your logo, that's kind of up to you. It's a personal preference. Usually what I do is I'll place it on the lower right corner whenever I have content that's up here on the upper left corner and vice versa. I'll move it to the left corner if I have content that is on the upper right corner. In this case, I'm just going to put it on the lower right corner, even though the information is going to be below. So I've got my logo added and now what I want to do is add some text or some content here that I want folks to read. So I'm going to click here and click on add your own text. By the way, you could also check out the templates that are available. Then I'll click here, add your text. And here's where you can add your social media promos. So here, let's say, check out my videos on YouTube, a shameless little plug right here in front of you. So we've got at that added right there. I'm going to move that down and maybe add a background or I should say kind of a shape. Sometimes I'll do it. Sometimes I won't, but in this case, it's, it's kind of like a banner I'm going to click here on the shape and I have my brand colors right there, but it doesn't matter. You can use whatever color you want. I'm going to actually also change that shape to a complete rectangle. And what I'll do here is make this a lot larger. And one of the formats that I like using for my post is the align option. So right here you have the curved grid or magic alignment. So I'm going to click there and choose this magic one. I like this one because it centers it for you and it adjusts the size depending on how large or small you make your shape. So right there, the shape moves out and the text automatically resizes and auto adjusts for you. So the next thing I'll do here is actually swap out the font that automatically shows up and use my brand font. I actually have one that I purchased. That's one I like using for all my content, which is industry ink. And this one is it. I'm going to change that text color because it looks to be Kind of a beige i want it to pop a little bit more with that white so here we go and if i want to make some further adjustments here there's spacing i can adjust the line spacing bring that in a little bit tighter move the letters out a little bit more i don't like that too much and then what i'll do is let's click here again if you notice the edging of the shape kind of got out of whack i should say uh, so what i'll do here is you can adjust the spacing using this right here. Now this one reflects the shape, so I can really exaggerate that, but I'm gonna bring it about right there. And then I can go through here and just, again, make some adjustments. Maybe bring it about, let's say, let's see what that looks like right there. Now I'm gonna go like that. Really make it big, it almost looks like, let's see. And I've got a little bit of my shirt sticking out right there, but that's okay, I'm not gonna 
worry too much. I, I could have photoshopped that out, but in this case, I'll just leave it in. Um, it may bug me a little bit later, but that's all right. Now, the next thing I'll do here to kind of make that banner pop out a little bit is add a kind of a shadow looking effect. Now here, if you click shadow, your, um, I should say the shape kind of uh, becomes a shadow because of the, um, the text, the text is taking on that attribute. So I'm going to uncheck that and come over here to icons and look for a rectangle. So we're going to back that up and make sure I spell it correctly. So there's rectangle and I'm going to pick this one right here. It's a different color, but that's fine. And what I'm going to do is just work on sizing this up a bit. I think what I want to do is bring it down this way. And what I'll do is size it up so it creates kind of that shadow effect, almost the same size as the original. So in fact, I can just cover it up and then maybe use my keys, my arrow keys. That's a little, there we go. Now it's covering up my text, but that's fine. First thing I'll do here is change the color for that shape. And then right here, there is the options of what to do with that shape. You can duplicate it. I'm going to choose right here where it says layer order and just move to the bottom and boom, there it is. So now I've got that kind of shadowy effect for uh, that box. And pretty much that's kind of it. Now the next step here is right now it's a static image and you can choose to create an animated graphic or an animated promo for social media. So what you'll do is let's go ahead and close up that right there and leave the space a little cleaner. And what I'll do is click animation here. I've actually done several videos on this. You can check them out on my channel. I'll have them linked in the video as well up here at the top somewhere. And what I'll do here is choose just a different format. Now this dynamic one starts off in the middle, probably not the one I want to choose. But just go through here and pick the one that works best. The nice thing is that the shape that's attached to the text stays intact. It's kind of empty and then it looks like you're actually typing out. So this is really cool uh, effect that you can use for your social media promos. When I share my content on social media, I seem to get a lot more traction with uh, graphics that are animated as opposed to still images. So I usually tend to post more video formatted content. Now, speaking of video formats, this one right here, again, as I mentioned, it is an animated graphic, which will be exported as an MP4 just by going to download and you can download it as the MP4 video or choose a static image. So you have that option to choose the two. I'll go ahead and download this as a static image for now. Now, one of the things that I'll do with this graphic is right now it's formatted for Instagram kind of a square format. If I wanted to use this on Twitter or on Facebook using my same image that I have here. So here's what I'll do is I'm going to group a couple things first. So this right here by clicking and dragging out, I've selected the text box as well as the white rectangle behind it. I'll group it that way. Those stay intact. And then what I'll do is come over here to resize. And as you can see, you have so many different options. There's the Instagram landscape, Facebook, and let's see here we got here we got Twitter so I'm going to go ahead and change it up it's okay it resizes because again it's going for Twitter my logo is a little bit off here so let's adjust that I click and just using the uh, arrow keys and now because I grouped this all I need to do is just resize it and now I have a graphic that is ready for Twitter and then what I'll do is download this one and now I have the same promo ready for Instagram and ready for Twitter. If I wanted to create additional versions of this, all I need to do again is click on resize and go through the different social media ones, click them, do a little bit of adjusting, downloading, and just repeat the process. Now, before I head back to the main projects window, I'm going to name this project. So I'll call this social promo and I'll just say zero one and then click out here. Go ahead and let that auto save and then click on projects. And lastly, this tip here that I have for you is so I've created this promo. Now, one thing I'll do to help improve my workflow is create duplicates and I'll click right here to those three dots and click duplicate, rename this. I'm going to call this zero two, click that duplicate button. And then what I'll do is go into that project and then change my 
image. So let's just kind of do that really quick. I won't go through all the steps just to kind of get you an idea of what I'm talking about. And now what I'll do is click on the background image here, click on replace and go look for another photo that I shot. Let's go ahead and maybe do this one right here. We'll click open and bring that one in. So now I've got another social media promo set that I can create. I can repeat the process, go through and adjust the text boxes, go through and move them in different spots, and then download them as an animated graphic or a static image, and then go through the process again of resizing, looking for a different social media size, and just again, repeat the process. And now what I'll do is just click on here, maybe make a little bit of an adjustment as far as the text box. We'll move that. Now, since these are grouped, these will both move at the same time. Click in there. Let's go ahead and do a quick resize. Center it up. And now click on this box here and just do the same thing. We'll resize that. Use the arrow keys. Bring that down a bit. Bring that up. <clears throat> and we're pretty much all set. And that's how I use Adobe Spark Post to design my social media promos. Again, starting off with taking those intentional photos and then bringing them in and add your content. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell to be notified for future videos. And please do share this video as it helps YouTube share it with a larger audience. Thanks again for watching. And as always, be good to one another. Peace. I am out.